Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Tuesday morning. Got the first truck heading out here. Uh, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a load of studs. My Greenville mill they shut down today. All right. Yeah, my Greenville mill where I haul all the big logs. They they decided they were going to be closed again today. They were closed yesterday. That's why we didn't work yesterday. But anyway, we're just going to work today. We'll, we're going to cut everything up and ply logs that we can. And pulp wood, stubs. Got a little bit of hardwood out there. Not much, but... Either way, we out here. We're going to make a day of it. We'll see what happens. Uh, take y'all along with me. Yeah, instead of, hop, instead of hop being able to haul it tree link, I got to sit there and cut every bit of it up. It's all right. I get paid the same either way, fellas. Paid the same. caught up to me I ain't got no more short run so I'm gonna have to send them on our long runs if the mill ain't too backed up he'll be able to make it back get one more but with the way everybody else is they're probably gonna be backed up too it is what it is at least we're working he'll make some you know i mean he'll make some money he won't make as much as he would have if greenville had been open today but is he still making enough to leave the house for anyhow you know sometimes it it ain't even worth leaving the house you ain't gonna get but one or two loads um, try and make it fair and let everybody get three loads but uh, it don't always work out like that but hopefully he'll be able to get back and get another one you know I don't know there ain't a whole lot I can do about it uh, yeah Last night they decided to tell us Greenville was going to be closed today. They were supposed to be open. So they told me, told me the game plan would be for us to cut ply logs. Uh, ply logs you can go down to 10 inches. Where on Greenville you can go down to 6 inches. And uh, Greenville's paying pretty good right now. 
it's been wet for everybody for the past few months they ain't been getting a whole lot of wood so they went up on their price but now it's starting to dry out and all the big boys are coming out to play and they they flooding them in there but greenville it's owned by warehouser and uh warehouser's big around here but um they got a lot of big loggers for warehouses because they cut beautiful you know beautiful timber but now they they cut themselves right out of a job they they cutting it faster than it's growing so now warehouser's asking their loggers to switch over to to be a first thinning crew and a lot of them ain't liking it they done got rid of a few people but um for the next 10 years or 10 15 years that's what cycle is going to be on all this stuff they've clear cut in the past 10 15 years has gotten to the point where it's ready to be thinned and um the big big clear cut tracks are getting you know few and far between but they got they got some big loggers out there all right everybody it's uh let's see it's 11 o'clock cat killer he's backing on in here for his second load greenville mill closed it makes all the other mills get backed up but, uh, everybody's hauling what they can so everybody gets backed up a little bit but they're supposed to be open tomorrow we'll see what happens come on in here but um there's boss man he's gonna go pick me up a couple batteries for my loader they starting to show a little age Yeah, I think we're gonna load hardwood on this fella here. See, maybe maybe it ain't too bad over there, but <clears throat> everywhere I've hauled so so far, I've been backed up. You ever get in here? But anyway, Greenville should be open tomorrow. We'll have a I don't know. We we'll probably have 10, 12 loads of Greenville on deck. Forty days over. We were cutting fly logs, but um, Timberman said he's losing too much money on fly logs. Right. Where you going, man? Stuck. gonna be a load of stuff. The old crab over there he ain't want to take no hardwood yet. He, he like to pick his own load. So he want to get a load of stuff then a load of hardwood. That's all right. He get back and put fly logs on him. See how he feel about that. The hole right there. Get it straight, boy. Get it straight. I reckon that's straight enough. 
I got them loaded. Up under the up under the trailer frame. Uh, finally got it all called uh, called it in. You know, and boss man, he'll pick it up. He was out picking up batteries anyway, so maybe we'll get him going soon. We still got four or five trucks to load, so. Sometimes it'd be like this. load of ply logs everybody um, they're over there working on Jasper loader getting his hose put back on so, I think I gotta get back to work fella Everybody, how's it going? Uh, 
Uh, got my I got my batteries in there. Uh, let's see, it's about 420. We God, I think I still got another truck out there. So, the track driver's gonna have to tighten up. Or uh, we're gonna be working late. And normally you, you put a little pressure on them, they'll tighten up a little bit. So maybe they won't keep us here too late. Everybody, it's uh, 5:01. Got one more backing in here. Just got the other one out. So. We get this truck loaded, we go on home, boy. I, I wish I could load that right there, but. Uh, that ain't gonna do me no good till tomorrow. No, uh, we don't get paid for wood to sit on the truck all night. So, anyway, we we get them loaded as fast as possible. It don't take very long to get anything done around here. You know what I'm talking about. If you know, you know. Alright. Uh, that's a little too much. Everybody, so that's uh that's gonna be it for today. Anyway, it looked like he got a piece sticking out too far. So you had to fix that real quick. There you go. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, everybody, that's gonna be it for today. Thank y'all for hanging out with me today. I'll check out, check y'all out tomorrow.